Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramulu. So today's topic is a expression for velocity of a longitudinal wave in a bar. So it is about the bar only. Already I have uploaded video for string. So now I am going to upload bar. So before watching this video, please subscribe this channel. So expression for velocity of a longitudinal wave in a bar. See here, consider a bar of length L and area alpha. It is made to vibrate using longitudinal force as shown in figure. Okay, so it is seen in the figure. So there is a, it is a bar, but this is a small piece of bar, isn't it? Suppose uh, this much of length of bar we have taken among them small element we consider this much of very small element. This is this one. Let us consider and see here uh, its length uh, actual length is L and uh, its actual area is alpha. Let us consider a small element between the points P and Q in the bar. So that means uh, if it is a long bar and uh, if you consider it is one point P and it is a point Q right. So this is a small piece is taken with its length is dx but its actual length is L but this small piece length is dx this uh, dx is this one okay let a, let coordinates of p and q or x and express dx due to the application of force force the point p displaces to p dash with a displacement of z and a point q displaces to q dash with a displacement of z plus dz along positive z direction as shown in figure here see it is a positive in z direction so along it is a z direction consider and initially p point is here and a q point is here and by the application of force then p is displaced to p dash with a displacement z and a q is displaced to q dash with a displacement what z plus dz its means from here to here length is dz is taken right this length is dz the displacement can be expressed as a taylor series as given below so see this is a z plus dz is a separated like this it is by using taylor series only so how we can write you know First, right, so it is z is z as it is, but dz can be written as like this. So dz to the dz here x is divided and dx is multiplied. Dx is divided and dx. Is. Why? If you again if you cancel, then what do we get? We get the same thing. So that is why just we are we are dividing with the same quantity and multiplying. Then this is simply converted into like this. But at the beginning it is a p, it is z, and after certain uh, distant by the application of force it is displaced this much of means certain length has changed so the change in length can be calculated by using the formula so this one so a uh, final length minus initial length initial length is z final length is z plus dz then it gives to us change in length or change in distance also we can say and here z z gets cancelled we get simply this one only so longitudinal strain is defined as the ratio of change in length to original length. See this is the definition. So change in length by original length. Change in length to original length means change in length by original length. Original length is actually we know space we taken dx space. And change length just know we got that is how much this is. So change in length by original length. So it is and dx dx cancel then we get this one. According to Young's modulus, Young's modulus for the right. So that is Young's modulus. Young's modulus is what longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. It is Young's modulus. So longitudinal stress is what from this see here. So uh, bring this is a longitudinal strain this side. So these two gets multiplied here like this. Then stress is equals to longitudinal stress is equals to y into longitudinal strain and here 
लैंगटूनल स्ट्रेन y इंटू डो जेड बाई डो एक्स सो वाई बिकॉज इट इज दिस वैल इज ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट इज वाट दैट इज दिस वन ओनली ओके एंड बट लैंगटूनल स्ट्रेस इज इक्व टू फोर्स बाई एरिया फोर्स बाई एरिया सो फ्रॉम दिस फोर्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर्स इज इक्व टू दिस इन टू एरिया isn't it but area already we know at the beginning i said it is alpha denoted by alpha and lagrangian stress is this one so substitute these two things here then it is simply fx and are written as like this okay let it is equation to the force acting on the left side of the element is fx while the force acting on the right side is fx plus dx therefore net force is this one net force means this side is a uh, at at a distance x force is x at a distance x plus dx uh, force is x plus dx so like this it is divided and a differentiating it is a final force and it is initial force so differentiating them we get net force but according to taylor's we write this is like this but if x plus dx can be written as fx plus do fx by do x into dx so dx dx is multiplied thus multiplied and divided that's it only okay so like this we can write this is in this manner so same thing is written from this fx fx cancelled then we get this one so this is a force net force okay and we know the fx formula what is fx so see just now equation 2 from equation 2 fx formula is substituted in the place of fx dx dx as it is only here and uh, now y and alpha we know those two are the constant so we can take them outside do into do become do square do x do x do x square so it is equation 3 according to newton's law of motion so we know newton's law second law is what that is f is equals to ma yes f is equals to ma then m value is what so from this we can write a uh, Uh, generally rho is mass by volume volume can be written as area into length isn't it volume can be written as area into length so area into length so rho is equals to mass by volume and from this from this mass can be written as rho into alpha dx so in the place of mass this one and a is what acceleration that is everybody know do square z by do t square isn't it now from the equation 3 and 4 we have so making equation 3 4 equating why this is a force and it is also force these two forces are same then these two are also same so from this alpha sorry alpha alpha cancel dx and this dx cancel okay now it becomes like this and bring this row this side so it is divided it is multiplying this side it divides so keep it is like this and make it as equation 5 so general wave equation we know that is what do square z by do t square is equals to c square do square z by do x square it is general wave equation and if you compare 5 6 c in the place of c square everything is same this one this one this one same same but in the place of c square what you have this one only yes c means what it is c is velocity of lang tunnel wave in a bar that is okay so in the place of c square y by rho and c is equals to this one So this is the velocity of longitudinal wave in a bar. Next solution, solution of longitudinal wave. Solution is see, it is a progressive wave and it is a reflected wave. There some is a what it it is stationary wave. The solution of for a longitudinal wave can be expressed in complex form. So means in in uh, complex means in terms of i only. That is okay. Y is equal to a into e power of i omega t minus k x. Plus b into e power of i omega t plus k x. Boundary conditions. So in short form we can say B C boundary condition. What is the boundary condition? We must keep in mind boundary conditions. If you know the boundary condition, then we can do we can solve the four uh, different topics points or uh, different side readings. Okay. At the point at the at the fixed point of the bar. displacement equal to 0 suppose if it is a bar it is fixed at this point this point uh, cannot uh, displace so why that is why it is 0 and if you fix this point also if you fix this point also so this point is related at the beginning so x equals here and its length is 
from here to here L. Then it's this end becomes L. So if it is fixed and it is also fixed, then it this value at this point y is zero, and here also y is zero. Mind means it cannot at this place, this bar cannot move. So that is the meaning of this y zero. Okay, that is why at x point at x at the beginning zero at the end next end it is zero. At the free end bar at the free end of the bar force acting at that point is equal to zero. So free end. Suppose these two ends are free, then what happens? So from here to here length is L. So that means this point is x equals to L. It is a beginning point. Then what happens? So force cannot act. So for free end, force cannot act. Force are not acting means so that is simply do y by do x is zero, right? So this zero at this point, and it is also zero at the same point. Why? Both ends are free ends. Okay, it is for free end and uh, first equation for fixed end. So everyone must keep in mind these two things. Then only we can you can solve the next two derivations. So lot of derivations are there. Okay, friends. Thank you. Bye.